Okay, so here are some of the keynotes that I've created to use with students. So for the visual memory card, student can go to whatever page by clicking over here. When they find the one that they're supposed to do, then they can tap on peekaboo, move it out of the way, and you'll notice that these are locked. Kids can unlock them, but it just helps with less movement since there's so many objects that do move here. So after they look on it, then they can go down here and put the pieces where they belong. They tap on it first, and then they can move it. If they need to look again, they could tap on it, look again, put it back up, and then put them where they belong. So the, I've created a few different visual memory cards. You can, really it's limitless, whatever there is out there, you can make what you want. I'm going to go back out to my presentations. And for the fry words, I'll show you what I've done with that. So just the plain fry words, the kids could go on, and then they'd press the sound button to the. listen to it. And then they could go and listen to um. the next one. Then you can go to any page, and then I have them organized by the first 1 to 25, and so on and so forth. Um, the second 100 is different colors, so you notice that the first 100 are green symbols. And the first, and then the second hundred is yellow symbols. If I go on to the scratch off fry words one, then what the student can do is they would go to the page that they're working on. Actually, I'll go to a blank one so you can see. And then in order to do the scratch off, they click the plus button and then go to drawing. And then here they would choose the eraser and then they would erase it so then they can uncover what word after they've uncovered their word then they could choose to use a marker a pencil or a crayon and then they could write out their word now the teacher after they click done if the teacher wanted to go and see what the students did, then the teacher could click on the section where they drew, and then once they click on it, they get this menu right here, and it says animate is the one that they want. When they click animate, then they're going to do a build in, and then they're going to do line draw and then they're going to click play. And then they can see what the student did for a drawing. And then they can click done. So that's a great way to see how students are forming letters. Another thing that you'll notice is that there is also the, the button on here so the student could listen to their words. Four. They could even listen to the word before they do the scratch off. So like this one, we don't know what's there. R. Maybe they could even try to draw it before. So before they scratch off, if they go to the plus button and go to drawing and it was R. So they maybe they're going to go R <laughs> and do the scratch off and they could see did they spell it right? No, and now they could do it. Another thing that they could do is they could record their voice. So after they've written them all in or uncovered all of them, they could record themselves as well. So if they go to the plus button and go to record audio, and then they could record themselves reading the word R, then click stop, click insert, and then the teacher could listen to that. So they could put, maybe the teacher would tell them to put it on this side. So then themselves reading the word R. And then it would be there for the teacher to know how that they're pronouncing the words as well as writing them.
If you have any questions, as usual, uh, contact me, and I'll be happy to help.